This is my process speech for my Communications 101 class at Ivy Tech Community College. I decided today to show you how to um, fix a flag that has already been out in the weather and has decided to uh, shred down at the bottom and instead of throwing it away as you can see there's quite a few tears down on the bottom part so instead of throwing it away I'm going to try to cut off the bottom of it and try to salvage it so the first thing we're going to do all you need for this is a pair of scissors and some no sew glue um, I do a lot of sewing making drapes and pillows but for something like this that's probably not going to last more than another season uh, instead of having to pull out my sewing machine I'm gonna do it the quick and easy way so it really works for people that do not like to sew or don't have a sewing machine so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this ragged piece right here and I'm just gonna cut the bottom of the flag I'm gonna cut off all the bad part so let me do that real quick I have a flag for every season and it seems like every year with the wind and the weather the bottom part of the flag frays and I used to throw them away go out and buy a new one but then I thought well it might be easier if I can just fix it and at least get one more season out of it okay so here you see the part that I just cut off and I have an uneven edge now at the bottom of my flag I'm going to lay it down and just like what you would as if you were hemming a pair of pants I'm going to fold this bottom part up let me get my glue and I'm going to take a small line and go all the way down this part of the flag just running it along the edge so that then when I fold it up it will stick this non-stick or non-sew glue is great for quick fixes like this I've actually used it for a skirt or a pair of pants that have come unhemmed it works really really well and I've even washed the garments and the glue sticks it does not wash off so if you haven't ever used it it might be something for you to try like I said uh, I do sew a lot I wouldn't use this for making a quilt or uh, even for curtains but for something like this, it works out really, really well. Okay, I'm going to fold this up. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Just enough to make my uneven part not as noticeable. It also gets really sticky to your fingers, so you have to work quickly with it before it dries. And sometimes you may have to go back through it it usually says that it'll take about mm, two to three hours to dry completely sometimes you have to put a little bit more pressure on it and since this flag is made out of like nylon material it doesn't stick quite as well as say cotton wood so again you have to kind of work with it get it to lay down Also, like I said, it's making my fingers sticky. I haven't run across any problems with using this on my countertops. It hasn't stained them. Okay, it's starting to stick now. I'm going to wipe my fingers off a little bit. They're starting to stick to my fingers more so than to the material and the glue itself. You add a little bit more in the areas where it didn't stick quite as well. There we go. That's better.
and I haven't had any problems with um, the wind or the rain loosening this and having it fray even more. Again, it's a four made. It's good for another season. It'll save you a little bit of money now versus going out and buying another flag right away. This isn't working, hit stop. <laughs>